So the last three days has been a build up of energy. It's been quite intense. It's covering the entire spectrum from the highest of high to the lowest of low frequencies of hertz or from the negative from the positive gear all the way down to the bottom of the negative so it's all inclusive but it's interesting because at the time of this new variant they're calling the omi the omi variant it seems that um there's a new wave of people who are rejecting their re repulsed by the idea of the lie of the deception of the omi of the omi and they're pushing it back and saying, that's not my reality, that's not something that I want to buy into, I don't want to go down that road, that road is not a reality for me. And then you have a new group of people that are creating an alternate um, pathway to a new timeline in that. So quite interesting, quite interesting indeed. So let's see what happens with that because it seems like even though the negative is trying to push the fear, it's just another thing to fear, something to focus on to control the narrative. But all it seems to be doing for a new wave of people and an old wave of people who are already awakened is just actually uh, reaffirming that that narrative is not something that we want to partake in and participate in. And if, if the mass consciousness doesn't partake in the lie and the deception, if they don't buy that, then it has no power and then it fades away and it becomes nothing and it's nothing anymore and so it has no power anymore. And so that's what's going on. So yeah, new energies, new energies coming in the last three days. It's a build up to the eclipse. Uh, that's happening today, tonight, I don't know. And Australia is about to get hit by a big rain bomb that's 4,000 kilometers in length from north to south. Have a look at the map of Australia and what's gonna happen for next week. So I uh, ask you to go and have a look at that because it's gonna be interesting as far as flash flooding and stuff like that and weather events. Anyway, I've got something to share with you and it goes something like this. Lorena McKennett, by the way, The thundering waves are calling me home, home to you. The pounding sea is calling me home, home to you. On a dark New Year's night On the west coast of Clare I heard your voice Singing Your eyes danced the song Your hands played the tune Twas a vision before me We left the music behind As the dance carried on As we stole away to the seashore We smelt the brine Felt the wind in our hair And with sadness you paused Suddenly I knew That you'd have to go your world was not mine Your eyes told me so Yet it was there I felt the crossroads of time And I wondered why As we cast our gaze On the tumbling sea a vision came over me Of thundering hooves and beating wings In the clouds above As you turned to go I heard you call out my name You're like a bird in a cage Spreading its wings to fly the old ways are lost You sang as you flew A 
And I wondered why The thundering waves Are calling me home Home to Nanu Nanu, live long and prosper. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll be back soon. And everyone have a nice day. But yeah, message before I did that. So catch you all later. Bye for now.